Hey, very fast. It is the 10th of April, 2019. And I have something to share. They revealed the first image of a black hole today. And that looks exactly to me like the good old black sun. Okay, the, the same old, same old. And we were looking at this yesterday, and I showed you how they actually refer to these as dark stars. Okay, that is a literal alternative term for these because of the mass of a million times our sun that is in the center of this. So they claim. Okay, this is how, this is what they tell us. Okay. So they reveal this first picture of it, and it looks just strikingly like a black sun, because that's really what it is. And I just want to show you, it's like, how do you ignore these things when they're doing it right in front of your face? Now, I showed you about Enoch and the courses of the luminaries yesterday, and you need to understand that there is a dark side to everything, all right? And this is real stuff. And it's common, you know, information that you can get. But people are just unaware of the power of this and what it really means. It, this Enochian magic was the work of a couple of guys named John D. and Edward Kelly. And it was also picked up by the likes of Aleister Crowley. Uh, let's see, all kinds of interesting names in here that have picked up on this. But John Dee and Edward Kelly were the fathers of it. And those guys were the early astronomers. The, these were the ones who set the pace for modern science, okay? Through alchemy and through sigils that they would conjure these spirits and garner the knowledge. This is just simply how it works. It is a spiritual war. And they use these sigils of various kinds to bring in these various spirits and gain the knowledge. But they have to give up things in the end, namely their soul. And this is what they do. The scrying, the black magic rituals, it's all very common. It's alive and well today, except now they call these people NASA and space Israel, okay? That's the only difference between then and now. It's gotten a little more sophisticated, okay? Now, I was showing you also, uh, or did I show you? I can't remember. Um, the pop culture related to this. The black hole, the black hole sun, the dark star, black hole sun. I mean, if, if you haven't heard that song, then I don't know where you've been. Uh, but this is one of the most popular songs of all time, at least in that genre. But this gentleman, Chris Cornell, uh, who wrote the song, suicided himself in 2017. Okay, Black Hole Sun. Another very famous entertainer who died in 2016, named David Bowie, his last record was called Black Star. Okay, very interesting album cover there. And this is all Enochian magic. That's what it is. And he died at the age of 69, just two days after the release of this album. And if you were to look into this, it would make you vomit. Because, I mean, there was a video attached to this album of his called Black Star. And if you look at this, man, it is some of the most unbelievably evil in your face blasphemous garbage that you could ever ever watch but yet it's some of the most popular things in our entire society so between these two right chris cornell and david bowie and their deaths just to illustrate how these rituals actually run if we just go back to david bowie's death on January 10th, 2016, to tomorrow, because today's already spent 1188 days. There's your 923 that people see everywhere for years. 923. Okay. 
the 1188 with the 332, but the 1188 is interesting. That's the number of chapters in our King James Bible. But it's also something else very interesting. Chris Cornell died on May the 18th, 2017, to tomorrow, and it's an interesting 693 days. The three of the most magic numbers there are. Think about this, okay? But let's just do a little something. We'll, we're going to take David Bowie's 1188 days ago, okay? And we're going to add Chris Cornell's 693 days. And we're going to see what we get. And it's, it's quite telling, if you ask me. 1881? How is that even possible? Because it's black magic. Because you're involved in a spiritual war, whether you like it or not. And Jesus Christ is the only victor in that war. So you need him above all things. And I hope that this, you know, makes sense to somebody. And you realize that everything you're being told, I mean, is a lie with little bits of truth mixed into it. And some eye candy and CGI to keep you just kind of moving along as they destroy your very soul. That's what's happening. That's their black hole. Their black hole sun. That's what all of this is, you guys. All of it. So, seek Jesus. First, foremost, and always. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 